I really, I've looked there. Yes, I have looked in the cupboard. No, it's not there. I can't find it anywhere. Is it? Um, I, have I what? Oh yeah, I looked under the sofa, but it's not there either. No, when I had it last time we had the tea party, we were playing with it. Oh, hang on. It's in my pocket. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Yes, okay. We'll get everyone together and we'll have the tea party later and I can bring the farmer along with the dolls and the action figures and everything else. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, thanks. See you later. Bye. Ooh, sorry about that, my hearties. Oh, hi there. You ready for a Bible story? <laughs> well, I was just looking for my toy farmer because I need him today to help me tell today's story. And we also need something else. Now, the weather's changing a little bit more. It might be that you're wearing socks again <laughs> so can you take off the socks that you're wearing perhaps or maybe go and grab a pair of socks because we need to roll them up into a ball today and we want to try and make them look a bit like a sheep okay so there's my my sock sheep all right now here's something for the grown-ups to help you do right now because children for the first time ever, I need you to get as close to the screen as you can because behind you, your grown up is going to take your ball of sock sheep and is going to hide it somewhere for us to try and find in the story, okay? So don't watch what they're doing, just keep watching me, okay? Or close your eyes if you'd like to for a few moments, just listen to what I'm saying, okay? And grown ups, if you can go and hide the sock sheep for me, that would be brilliant because we need that today for the story. Today's Bible story comes from Luke 15. It's all about the lost sheep. All right, there, Mahartis, here we go. So a farmer here had 100 sheep. Now that's a lot of sheep to count. And he loved counting <laughs> all of his sock sheep. So shall we count together? Now, if we can, should we try and count in tens? Because counting to 100 might take us an awful long time. So let's count up from tens. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, oh, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. There's one missing. Oh, we have a sheep missing. There's a gap for it right there. Okay, Um. right. Now, all of you sheep, take good care of yourselves. Look after one another. And you know that the farmer loves you very much and he will be back very soon but he must go and find that sheep that is missing. So what should he do? Let's go back to where he came from. That's a good place to start, isn't it? So let's go back to the farmyard. Now let's have a look around the farmyard to see if we can find that sheep anywhere. Now is the sheep down here at the duck pond? No, duck there. Is it here in the windmill? No, there's a little sleeping cat in the windmill. <laughs> there are pigs in the pin, pig pen. There's a rooster down here in the middle of the field and what about over here we've got a horse and a cow in the stable and a dog over in the dog house okay so still no sheep anywhere right we have to keep looking now the farmer didn't want to give up looking for his very special sheep so he searched high and he searched low he went through the woods to see if he could find it couldn't find it anywhere he went climbing over rocks to see if he could find the sheep couldn't find it anywhere. He even saw a big river and jumped splash into the river and went swimming around to find the sheep, but he still couldn't find it. He was so tired oh, that he sat down oh, and put his feet up to think about where his sheep could be. And then all of a sudden, have you found your sock sheep yet? He had a good look around. Have a look around for your sock sheep. Can you find it anywhere? Grown-ups, if we're struggling, could you help us out, please? <laughs> so have a good look around, see if you can find it, and... Oh, look what he found! His sheep! He's found his lost sheep! Have you found your sock sheep? Have you got yours? Brilliant! He was so excited that he was saying to all of his friends, I'm gonna have a party to celebrate that my sheep is found! So he put on his party hat, he got some balloons, <laughs> he got loads of cake, he got some loves of drink, he had so much fun celebrating with all of his friends that he had found the sheep that was lost. Yeah! <laughs> and God is just like the farmer. He loves us so, so much. And if we wander off or we get lost or we do things that aren't very good, he will always find us and love us with a massive cuddle and will always throw a party for anyone 
but comes back home who was lost. Nice to see you, Mahati. See you again soon. Take care.